Hi, Landroid ACS. So this is the anti-collision system. Do you necessarily need it? Well, I'll give you a few of my, um, my thoughts on that towards the end of this video. Um, but I purchased this actually when I purchased the machine, but this was actually lost in the post. So I've had my machine, I've set it up, I've used it almost for a season. Um, but as I've bought and paid for the ACS, I thought it was about time I got around to fitting and installing it. Now, if you look on some of the other YouTube channels, um, they show you how to fit the ACS and yours might look different. So this is the Landroid Plus model. Um, and I'll just turn this over. So I've just fitted some new blades. So if you want to see my video on that, then uh, I'll put a link at the end of this video. Um, on some of those other videos, it shows you knocking out a um, piece of plastic from underneath here but on this plus model with the floating uh, deck here um, this isn't the actual case so this might be the only video that you've came across at this moment in time that shows you how to do the ACS so under here you've actually got um, find my Landroid so I'll just turn it over the right way So on these other Landroid models, I presume it's all the Plus models, um, you have your piece of plastic here. And just behind the bit of plastic, you'll see that there's a, a bit of an indent for a flat blade screwdriver. So you push the flat blade screwdriver in there. And out pops this bit of plastic. So that now, gets you to your plugs for your ACS. Obviously that can, I'll just scratch it actually there, but that can go back on if you wanted to. Get around to the ACS. Now, this was the ACS that was sent out when I purchased the machine, so it should be right. I'm not sure if there's different models. I know there are different pillars. In the bag, you've got an Allen key with a couple of bolts and you get the ACS system as well. So like I say, it's already pre-wired for it. So on the pre-wiring you have a couple of like dummy plugs Just push the top in and slide them out. Now, if you look on here, you've got two different plugs. You've got one that's a bank of um, sort of six in its squarer, and on the other one, you've got more of a rectangular um, shape with like four pins. So, just pushes in like this. Listen for the click. So that, that's it clicked in place. It's a little bit tight to fit everything in. Get the included Allen key, or some people call them hex keys. Obviously, I meant to say before you start doing any of that work, always best to remove the battery. bolts and just screw it down I don't know if you can see that a bit better than that. 
obviously it's only going into plastic so make sure you do them snug but obviously don't over tighten just going to put the spare plugs the spare plastic bit back in the back well oh, i don't put it in the bag but put it all back in this bag in the box in case i decide to take it off to later date got the battery again battery back in it says here in your settings acs enable or disable enable acs yes i'm trying to show you so menu into settings down to acs enable press on that don't know if you can see that it says acs and enable acs yes or no select yes and that's it done stood in the way so come up to my dog So, Landroid ACS, do I think it's worth it? Um, it definitely improves the Landroid by being able to go around obstacles in the way instead of just bumping into them first. Uh, if you've just got an odd thing that you might have in your garden, say a big rectangular garden, and you maybe you'd have, say, a um, clothesline that you put up, would I bother? I'm not so sure. I think it's quite a lot of money is an extra um, when it actually does back itself out of those situations but one of the things that I have noticed is I've got a gazebo up here um, if I didn't peg the gazebo into the ground and the landroid actually bumped into it it would move the gazebo in a way of which could um, if which could actually damage the gazebo um, so if you've got something like that in the way then I definitely think the ACS is worth it in that instance because um, you know how much are you gonna wreck on some of your other items you might have in your garden um, so do I recommend it it's a tough one because it the works landlord I definitely recommend adding the ACS I think I do you know I'm glad I bought the ACS um, but yeah it's easy to fit and it does actually improve the Landroid but again it's something that you could buy the Landroid first uh, see what you think about it and if you can get along without using one fair enough um, and you can always add it later so that's my review if you want to see a video on me changing the uh, blades then please click on this link and uh, if you want to actually see the review of the machine itself then please click on this link and I'll catch you in another video thanks for watching